Officials have issued red rainfall warnings for the eastern province February 11. Associated strong wind and reduced visibility are also likely. Officials could update warnings in the coming hours. Related impacts could persist through February 12. Sustained heavy rainfall could trigger flooding. Due to the arid nature of the region and poor stormwater management in some urban areas, even minor rainfall accumulation could quickly result in episodes of flash flooding. Flooding is possible in streams and wadis, dry riverbeds. Disruptions to electricity and telecommunications services may occur where significant flooding or strong winds impact utility networks. Floodwaters and debris flows may render some bridges, rail networks, or roadways impassable, impacting overland travel in and around affected areas. Ponding on road surfaces could cause hazardous driving conditions on regional highways. Authorities could temporarily close some low-lying routes that become inundated by floodwaters. Severe weather could also trigger flight delays and cancellations at regional airports. Authorities may temporarily suspend port operations or close beachfronts along coastlines if strong winds trigger hazardous sea conditions. Flooding could block regional rail lines. Freight and passenger train delays and cancellations are likely in areas with heavy rainfall and potential track inundation. Localized business disruptions may occur in low-lying areas. Some businesses might not operate at full capacity because of flood damage to facilities, possible evacuations, and some employees' inability to reach work sites. One man drowned and dramatic bolts of lightning struck Mecca as the city was lashed by thunderstorms overnight on Tuesday and early on Wednesday. Muhammad Al Twain, a teacher at Mina Elementary School, lost his life trying to escape from his car after it was engulfed by flood water.
As pilgrims tried to circumambulate the Kaaba in the Grand Mosque, lightning hit the landmark Fairmont Mecca Clock Royal Tower Hotel, illuminating the night sky. The storm brought gale force winds exceeding 80 kilometers per hour and 45 millimeters of rain within 24 hours, said National Center for Meteorology spokesman Hussein Al Khatani. Pilgrims outside the mosque were toppled over by the wind, which sent crowned barriers sliding across the rain-slicked floor. The scene was very scary, said Mecca resident Mohammed, who was grocery shopping at the height of the storm. Everything happened within a few minutes when it started raining in a crazy way. Another resident, Abu Mayyada, was out buying cigarettes and patrol when everything went black in front of me as the worst of the storm hit, he said. Suddenly I lost control over the vehicle. I couldn't see anything so I started listening to the Koran on the radio. I didn't understand what was happening. The Mecca governorate said schools would remain closed, with classes conducted on an e-learning platform in the interest of everyone's safety. The Meteorology Center warned of further storms in the Mecca region and elsewhere in western Saudi Arabia.